Hello everyone, this is Vikal and I welcome you all to the official SetCommerce channel. This is the next video in the SetCommerce Marketplace video series. And in today's video, we will see how one can add multiple vendors attribute in the vendor registration form. In order to achieve this functionality, we will be needing vendor attribute add-on. Since this is an add-on, therefore SetCommerce Multi-Vendor Marketplace should be installed prior to the installation of vendor attribute add-on. Let's first check how the present vendor registration form looks like. So we need to go to the front end and we will click on I am vendor. This will lead to the vendor login page. From here create new vendor account. So this is the current vendor account which consists of the basic fields. Which is first name, last name, email, the public name and the shop URL. And uh, with the help of vendor attribute add-on, we will add some more attributes in the registration form for getting more information regarding the vendors. So now let us suppose the store admin wants to know more information about the vendor. This information can be anything such as GSTI number, VAT number, company documents, etc. So what admin needs to do is simply add all those vendor attributes on the vendor registration form so that vendors can fill out the information and upload all necessary documents while registration and admin can verify these details before approving the vendor. So this can be possible with the help of vendor attribute add-on. So first let's check out the configurations available in the admin panel. Here we are at the admin panel. For this we need to go to the vendor configurations. Here we are the vendor configuration in the general tab we have the enable disable option setting for the enable vendor attribute system. This will enable disable the vendor attribute module on the website. Now we will simply click on the vendor attribute configurations which allow you to set allowed file and image type for the vendor attribute configurations. Suppose if you create a image type attribute for vendors then you can provide the extensions what will be allowed for that similar with the case of the files what documents uh, you want vendors to upload so the extensions for the file format are this you can list it out and that only those will be applicable and allowed in the same format which you have provided here so let's uh, go and create a drop down type vendor attribute and list it on the front end and we can see let's check how things will work out so for this we will go to the vendor attributes this is the vendor attribute section i am going to create the drop down type of attribute simple drop down type of attribute uh, such as we will be creating company type like for example company type the default label will be the company type which will be shown in the registration form attribute code is internal which should be unique so we, we, we can create num like from the drop down list we can create this number of uh, vendor attributes text field text area date type yes no multiple select drop down type image type and file type so we will be creating drop down type and we want this to be required so we'll just yes it so it asks that vendor registration form so if you want this attribute the company type attribute to be listed on the vendor registration form now we can do it it yes and we can decide the position i will be selecting number one position similar with the case if you want this attribute to be present in the vendor edit form when vendors are vendors have created their account and uh, fulfilled the uh, eligibility and admin has approved them so in after login in the vendor panel they can edit the profile there also if you want they can see this attribute you can set it to yes and set the position use attribute in invoice whatever the invoice is preparing by the vendor for its order invoice so if you make it yes then the, this attribute will be printed on the invoice pdf as well vendor left profile which is on the front end where the sh which is actually the vendor shop if you want this information vendors information will be listed in the vendor shop page as well so you can set it to yes you can provide the font of some class support will be using f user 
and the same position for that now since we have created a drop down attribute we need to provide some uh, options for that so since we are creating an attribute by the name company type so company type can be anything which can be small medium large so we'll just fill out the things here uh, small one more medium and the last one large you can make any of them as a default which will be automatically selected so we have filled out the details and let's go to the manage labels manage labels will be the uh, front end what by which uh, title it will be visible in the front end so we'll select it a company type store front properties like in which property you want to store that thing so since we are com creating a company type so we will be selecting company information all the informations are filled and we will just save it and it will create a product sorry vendor attribute by the name of company type so we can see that the company type is already created so let's check the reflection of this newly created vendor attribute on the vendor registration page so here we are again at the vendor registration page currently the basic fields are coming we just need to refresh the page and we can see that select company type attribute which we have just created is coming on the vendor registration page it's a drop down so the vendor need to select what type of company he is owning like whether it's a small medium or large so that he can select it and proceed with the other details and create its account so we have also like when we edit from here we can edit the things as well we have used this in the vendor registration form it's coming we will check it in the vendor profile and vendor shop page so in for this we need to sign in as a vendor we will be signing as the vendor side we will go to the edit profile and fill out the option for this attribute so here we have a vendor with the company type as a medium is been listed as a medium so we'll just edit it here it is the attribute which we have just created so if you want to make any changes in that you can make it like the company type large all, all necessary information save all the required fields and save it and it will be visible in the profile view section also we have set that uh, when it will be visible on the left profile view as well so we will just after viewing it in here we will go to the vendor shop page and check whether it's coming or not so here the company type large is coming so we will just go and check at the shop page we can directly go to the shop page from here go to shop this is the vendor shop currently it has no uh, products available so this is the left profile section which we have just discussed the left profile view section on the shop pages this is left profile view section which uh, like necessary details are coming by default and with the help of vendor attribute add-on you can add as much as attributes of any type whatever the types are available so we've just created the company type with having the large company as a its value so it's coming on there as well so this completes the session for the vendor attribute add-on i hope the process is pretty much clear you can create as much as attributes for your vendors and you can verify them and after that you can approve them so in the next video we will check out some more features of the set commerce multi-vendor marketplace so keep watching this space for more thank you